Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Diablo 3. We're going to find the Khazra staff. Hi, Lilo. The cat was on my desk. Sorry. Uh, oh. We got a shrine to start out with. That's actually pretty neat. But yeah, we're going to continue on with the uh, story mode. For now, at least. Oh, shoot. I forgot I still had this move on. It's actually not too big of a deal. I thought that... Uh, I thought it would really suck for us since we don't really want to be using our health as a resource. But it's actually not too bad. Get back here. But yeah, just because I want to... Uh, I want to finish the, at least this first act before I hit level 70. Oh my god. I, uh, I almost died, kind of. I mean, not really, because I do have a couple backups. However, that was a lot closer than I would have liked. I definitely want to switch my uh, Army of the Dead move off, though, and bring back my corpse, corpse golem, bone golem. I'm afraid I'll have to wait for it to uh, get off cooldown, though, first. Cause for step. Uh, yeah, I usually don't like this Whoop part. I can't remember the exact reason why, but I know I consistently think that. I think it might just be because of how it's tuned, like. It might be just a little bit too tough compared to the other parts of the game. Or like it's a sudden difficulty spike or something. Oh, God. My own guy keeps I'm tricking me. Not. But I'm definitely taking more damage than I'd like to. I, would die a corpse for that. I don't know. I was on the fence about lowering my difficulty, but maybe I should just try to find a way to uh, make myself stronger. Go for different uh, armor or something. It might finally be time to drop the Kane's gear. Because the thing is, if we're not killing things quickly, the uh, experience boost isn't going to be massive anyways. That is not possible. That is not possible. And the truth is, it's not going super fast. Okay, we... No! No, we have to fight these guys before I switch my move on. Okay, I got to be careful not to use it. We're gonna get our uh, arm, land of the dead. There's army of the dead, land of the dead. We're gonna get land of the dead in just a second. Gotta be careful not to use army of the dead. Here we go. Okay, don't hit the one that's got the reflected damage, otherwise we'll have a really bad time. And easy enough. Just we're so mediocre until we're we've got that move, and then we're crazy. Hmm. I don't know. I get we'll we'll stick with this for right now. But I'm thinking it might be time to switch our gear. We'll just keep an open mind when we get gear that drops about dropping our um our set. Cuz it's what is it, 50%? I mean, we can still keep the helmet. How about that? Like, we keep the helmet, because that makes a really big difference. Maybe we could even get a better gem. That's something. I'm tempted to go back to town now. Let's do it. Let's do it. It shouldn't take too long. We'll just go to the blacksmith. We're not going to, like, make the perfect gear... But we will get rid of our born, oops, born set, which is gloves, pants, boots. Sage's journey. Is there another one that gives experience? No. Last boys. Always has monster kills, grand experience. I mean, that sounds good. Level 50. Fifty-four. What's gonna be better? It looks like they're going to be about the same, except they will have a guaranteed bonus experience on them. Mine is damage. How? Okay, fine. We'll make two of these, because I don't want to get minus damage. There we go. That's good. Let's get some new pants. We can't wear those. 
Alright, 52. Monster kills, grand experience. We could do that. It's closer to our level, though. Go for that. Maybe there's some gloves. Ashira's Iron Fist. I don't know. I want to get experience, though. Well, it has three magic or random magic properties. It might have it anyways. We are finally... We didn't get it, but that's okay. Jeez, we got minus damage on this, too. It's because of the socket, the gem socket. We'll go up and we'll enchant it to have a socket, I guess. If it's going to make that much of a difference. Craft. Regenerate light per second. Can this be a socket? It can be. Sockets, too. Boom. There we go. There's that. Can this have a socket? I think so. No, it can't. Boots can't have a socket either. Alright, I think we're good. Just leave that as is. But we'll go to that. Oh, the gems, gem person is all the way up there. But let's first grab... Is our best one? We can make that better. Okay. We'll do a little tiny bit of due diligence here. We'll we'll turn this into a slightly better one. Don't say it. You were right. Alright. Mine gems. Where is it? Topaz. Let's just make this level. We, we won't go one higher. We could probably make it happen. So what is it? Yeah, 160 intelligence. We should just remove the gem from this one. What am I doing? There. 160. 100. Don't tell me it has more damage now. Okay. Alright, that should be a lot better. We still get... Yeah, we still do get the uh, bonus experience from our helmet. 64%. And the gem in our weapon. Plus 500 per kill. So... Maybe we'll be killing things a decent amount quicker. Nope. Not even that much quicker. I mean, when we have this move going, yeah, it does a lot, but... It's just not that often. I think just too much of our damage in this build comes from the corpses. It's, it's too much. So I'm finding myself... In a position of weakness too often. I should probably get another move that expends my essence. That's probably where my problem is. Oh my god. But I don't want to really get rid of my corpse. I don't know. Maybe we'll get rid of our golem, I guess. Maybe it's about time. We'll do that. Bye, Gollum. We'll go for... Let's see. Blood and Bone Primate Secondary. Death Nova? I just don't like Death Nova that much. Because it's an AoE, right? I'm afraid not. I don't really need an AoE at the moment. I don't like the Skeletal Mages. Okay. Turns into Blood Spear. Increased... Okay, at the cost of 10% health. Not gonna do that. Instead of piercing, it now detonates. Okay, that sounds interesting. Teeth. How much damage does it do? It doesn't even do that much. It does more. But it is AoE. Can I turn it into a single target move? That's what we need more than anything. It's just a way to get enemies before uh, it becomes an issue. That just doesn't do enough. It, it's nice and it's better. But it's not nice enough. We could go for... Where is it? Blood and Bone? 
Seek enemies. Damage is increased. What is this move? Exactly. I'm afraid not. We'll have to wait to get it. I require a corpse. Charged up to even find out, though. Maybe this just guy, like, has way too much health in general. There's the Khazra staff. Quick, quick, quick. Spawn him so we can, uh, use our ability on the other guy. Eh, uh, I don't know. That doesn't even seem awesome. I'm conflicted about a lot of these moves being good. Hmm. Maybe the Necromancer just sucks at single target. Maybe that's his thing. Like his weakness. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, this is the, that's the real one. I got tricked. I got legitimately tricked. Okay. Let's switch this up again. Bone armor, blood rush. Hmm. I think it's just that we're kind of a uh, AOE class. Was there a bone spear one that bonus damage for each it passes through deals three hundred percent? Okay, so that's a damage down. Instead of piercing, now detonates. Let's maybe try that out. All right. We could draw bone armor, too. I just feel weird about that. Seems too useful. That's better. That's better indeed. But I'm gonna wanna switch bone armor, or no, I'm gonna wanna switch uh, corpse lance and that move, because they're in weird spots for me. Boop, 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 boop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Use this while we got it, use it while we got it. Alright. It's definitely a, a damage increase from what we were working with. I, I like it a lot, a lot better. I do miss my corpse golem. But I'm afraid at this point to drop my armor. Upgrading our gear definitely seemed to help our survivability a lot though. So maybe I could swing it. Okay, let's stand still for a second. Bloodlands. Spend 2%. I can't go for... Not on, on hardcore. I can't in good conscience do stuff that sacrifices health. No. It'd be an interesting build, just not for hardcore. Okay, so what does it do? Create armor, reduces damage taken by 3% up to 10. So, reduces our damage taken by 30%. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. But first things first, let's switch this one. Where'd it go? Corpse Lance. 2%, 20% chance to ricochet. That's cool. Slows the target and reduces damage. Chance to be crit. Five seconds each time they're hit with corpse lance. That's nice. What were we using? The stun? Let's do the ricochet. That sounds nice. We did lose our uh, our armor stacks because of that. But here, let's, let's give it a shot. We can afford to just stand here and do this. I think we probably had the stun on, if I were to guess. Where? 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 No, I must, have a must have been up there. I don't know if we're going to get to him now. It's alright. Let's get in here and get our maximum armor. That is not 
All right. I like the ricochet, even if, if it's really quite low. Get over here. All right. That's stun? Yeah, it does. Forgot which which thing we have on like all of these because I, I have experimented a little bit with different uh, different runes on these things, but I think I pretty much stuck with the same one for bone armor because a stun just seems really handy. An AoE stun? Ah, we almost kept it going. Where, where, where? Keep it going, keep it going. I think we've already lost it. You do get bonus experience if you keep a uh, kill chain going. That's what I'm talking about right there. Whatever. All right. I think we missed the treasure goblin, but that's all right. Don't care that heavily. We're getting relatively close to the end of the act at this point. I mean, we still got, uh, what? I know we have to do, like, the Jailer guy, who's, like, kind of a boss, but not really. Oops, dang it. He's, like, he's sort of a boss. But I think he's not really, uh, one you're expected to kind of die to. But we're almost at Leoric's Manor. And I, I'm trying to figure out if... Is there another boss on this, uh... On this act that I can't remember? Besides the Jailer, if he even counts. Alright. But yeah, I'm liking this... What is it called? Bone Spear. Because it lets us get to the point where we have corpses to use. A lot quicker. Instead of just having the long slog, but then... A nice huge chain reaction. It's not as much of a slide to get there. We should definitely be focusing our skeletons more. It seems to seems to work really nicely. Increases their damage a lot. Courtyard. Sometimes a secret place in there, isn't there? We could, like, just get right up in their face and make sure we get them with the AoE. Pow, 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 pow. Chain reaction. But yeah, I, when we were able to kill enemies pretty quickly, like, relatively quickly, and get corpses on the ground, this class was nuts. I'm stuck in the middle here. But now it's, uh, it's definitely a little bit more in line. Okay, we gotta keep it going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No, just wait. Alright. Should not be bad now. Let's try to sh get one of these down, though. Okay, I think just standing in the action is probably the best thing to do. Which is kind of funny. But just spamming the ability. Which is kind of fun. That that's like the smart thing to do. Because we do get health back for hitting them. So it's kind of a way to s save ourselves. Yeah. Focus, focus. Because yeah, they get a, what, 50%? 50% damage increase. If you tell them to focus. Nightmarish, is that the one that gets uh, stronger when it's the only one left? Or is that uh, just makes you run in fear if they hit you? Don't remember. Death Nova, Blood Nova. Yeah, there's a lot of moves that I'm sure are ones where you sacrifice health. In another life, I would trust it, but 
what I've already run into some issues recently is too spooky for me to, to consider. That is not possible. All right. I think we just follow the path for this one. Something drop back there? I think that was just uh, the noise they make. It sounded like a... Not quite like a legendary item dropping. But it sounds special. It sounded special. Alright, let's uh... Get crazy mode on. That is really fun to control. Okay, it's probably a waste. Alright. Maybe we could find a stronger, uh... Primary move, too. Could maybe afford to sacrifice the life-stealing aspect of it to go for one that does more damage. Because I'm relatively okay when it comes to survivability right now. I think we'll take a look at that. 150 damage. This does do extra damage. Strikes up the target and up to two nearby enemies. So that's a little bit more focused. Maybe that's a good idea. Because you just need to get the first one dead. If you get the first one dead, you can start to use the corpses. That needs to recharge. Alright. This is it. Finally. Uh... All right, get in there. We have no corpses to use. Okay, I'm a little spooked here. Mortar nightmarish fire chains. If we get up in the fire chains, we will probably die. So we should definitely stay back. We can maybe go up and... Going up to stun was probably even a bad idea. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Get out of there! One down. Okay, this is worth it. There. Because fire change is made useless once there's only one left. Nothing to connect them. There we go. The Chamber of Suffering is in Leoric's Manor to an extent, right? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not? I am afraid not as well, but I think it is. Can we just stand here? We can. Spam the right click. Focus on the big guy though. Okay, corpses for days. Hey! See, that's what I'm talking about. You just, you get to that point and just suddenly the wave's gone. Uh oh The only other single target one is, um, whatchamacallit, the drain life for primary. And that one just doesn't seem as good because it makes you completely immobile. And while I am, like, standing still a bunch of, like, from here and there, it's not always the smartest idea. And if it's your primary move, it can be a, it can be an issue. Oops. Shoot. Actually, wait a minute. We should probably go for the ads. Oh, I don't like that they teleport. I should not be in the actual place. Maybe I should just go for him. His ads seem pretty much just as strong. Stand right out here. My, Is this dangerous? It seems dangerous, but I'm not really losing much health. All right, here we go. Spam, 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 spam. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this move. It's a good move. Too strong move. 
Yeah, I can't remember. I thought this poison hurt you. Am I just... Do I have a really high resistance to it? Or is it... Does it reduce your armor? I feel like there's something about it that I'm missing. I don't know, maybe the longer you stand in it, the worse it gets. So we'll move out of it just because it's not super hard to move out of it. I was just kind of testing my limits with it. Yeah, I'm really hating how long these guys are taking. It's because they're the minions. Come on! Get out of the way! You're not challenging, you're just taking forever. We do it? No, we didn't even. Oh, come on! Possible. See, this is why I want single target moves. This guy's got way too much health. For a minion. He's not even the main guy. Got this dumb. Alright. Onward! Maybe we could... I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that uh, one curse that kills enemies under 15% is a good idea. He's unstoppable. No mortal could slaughter our brethren. Hi, Magda. Magda's a uh, Act 2 boss, right? Yes. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have gone in here. I will be okay because I have my crazy mode. But that was dangerous for a second. Do, 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 do. Keyword, a second. Hello, wounded man. Halls of Agony level one. That's right. We are getting super close. We got to go through one, two, and then there's the jailer. And then we come back to Halls of Agony. All right. Well, anyways, that is going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. I'm returning to town so I don't die when I'm not looking. But I'm very pleased. We're getting far. We're getting far. We're level 57. We've only got 13 levels to go until we hit quote unquote max level. And then Paragon levels are a thing. But thank you, thank you. See you next time.